Warm and pleasant morning to everyone. I, Muskan Sharma of class 9th from Sacred Heart Convent School, Bias, is going to explain you the most important concept of trigonometry. That is trigonometric ratios of standard angles. Now, the most crucial part of this chapter is a table which is full of values. We find it difficult for us. Why? Because it is boring for us and it is difficult to learn. In spite of many methods to learn, like the finger method, the methods taught to us by our teachers and the articles given in the book. We can't learn that. If we will have a practical approach towards things, they become easier to learn. So today, with my practical model, we can learn this concept in a better way. Now, let us talk about the concept of trigonometric ratios of standard angles. We have already talked about this concept of trigonometric ratios in the previous chapter. Today, our main focus would be on the standard angles. Now, in a right angle triangle, trigonometry is applicable. In fact, it is applicable to all the triangles. It is the study of triangles. Now, for finding the three sides, that is hypotenuse, base and perpendicular, in a triangle, the most important part is of angles. If we have to find the side that is hypotenuse, the right angle is here and the side which is opposite to this right angle is known as hypotenuse. If we want to find the base and perpendicular for that, we need an angle. If we have this angle, we can find base and perpendicular with its help. The side which is opposite to this angle is known as perpendicular and the leftover side is known as base. So now, what do you think? What could be the value of this angle? It could be one of the standard angles. Now, which are the standard angles? They are 0 degree, 30 degree, 45, 60 or 90 degree. If we talk about a knowledge purpose, there is another unit which is called radian for measuring angles. Like in radian, the value of 0 degree is 0, the value of 30 degree is pi by 6 radian, the value of 45 degree is pi by 4 radian, the value of 60 degree is pi by 3 radian, and the value of 90 degree is pi by 2 radian. It was a concept which is used in 11th class for finding the angles. Now, let us move on to our playful model which with the help of which we can find the angles and its value. Suppose I want to find the value of sine 30. I will place this black pointer on the value of sine and this red pointer on the value of 30. The bulb that will glow will tell me the right value. That is, the value of sine 30 is half. Now, if I want to find the value of cos 45, the bulb glowing here is telling me the right value. That the value of cos 45 is 1 over root 2. In this way, when these things are performed, Number of times they help us to learn the values and create a visual image in our mind. Now let me call someone to perform this experiment. If I tell you to find the value of cos 30, place the black pointer on cos and red pointer on 30. The value of cos 30 is under root 3 upon 2. Yes. Thank you. In this way, we can learn these values in a better manner and in a playful way. Now, suppose if I have learned this table, what is the next step? The next step is self-testing in which we will perform an activity. It is the activity in which we can test how much values we are remembering. This window shows us the trigonometric ratios like cod, sec, cosec, sign. This window shows us the values of standard angles and these are various values of these standard angles. Now see if I test myself to find the value of cos 45, the value of cos I will put here 45, I will arrange here 45 and I know the value of cos 45 is 1 over root 2. 
In this way, I know that it is the correct value. But how will I be testing it? In that way, I will again go to this table in which I will test it. I will put this pointer on cause and finding the value of 45. The bulb that is glowing is telling me the value of cos 45 is 1 over root 2. So this is very helpful activity and it could be performed in teams as well as individually. Now let me call someone to perform this activity. Now suppose if I tell you to find the value of sine 60. Arranging here sine 60. I know that the value of sine 60 is under root 3 by 2. Yes. In this way, it is very helpful and tells us the importance of learning table at every point. Now, let us move on to our another activity for testing our skills. It is a dodging type matching in which here is given trigonometric ratios and their values. Suppose if I want to find the value of sine 90, I know its value is 1. When I will place here the correct value, the bulb will glow, otherwise it will not. Suppose here I am putting the wrong value. Is the bulb glowing? No. In this way, we can learn many things from this. Now, let me call someone to perform this activity too. If I tell you to find the value of sine 30. Yes. Oh yes, I am right. The value of sine 30 is half. Thank you so much. Thank you. See how important this table is. It is also helpful in our life. Why are we studying this chapter? Because it is useful for us in the 10th standard, in the chapter application of trigonometric functions. So this is the reason why we are studying this. I hope this would have been helpful to you and would have helped you to remind the table well. And it would be inspiring you to perform the things in an innovative way. Thank you so much and happy learning. Now it is time to present you all my maths file.
सो मच